I don't think Mr. Trump's administration can do very much to facilitate the energy revolution that's already underway. One thing President Obama did that nobody seems to understand is he passed corporate average fuel economy standards. By 2025, vehicles have to be at 54 and a half miles per gallon. What the auto industry has come to grasp is they're gonna bring technology to bear. The use of fuel cells for vehicles and energy storage. So what you're actually gonna start seeing, which isn't really being discussed at all, is the beginning of the hydrogen economy. Because of the use of technology, we are producing in this country more oil and gas than we even need. And we are looking at a, a revolution in renewables that's almost unstoppable. Solar has created a quarter of a million jobs and many more coming. Some of the energy companies are now morphing into new energy companies. Shell, traditional oil and gas company. Total, traditional oil and gas company, are now in clean energy. As cost goes down, we're looking at more deployment of technology. I do a lot of work in Silicon Valley, married to the capital markets of New York. There's actually too much money chasing this. What's missing are very good investable ideas. We're a post-industrial society. We're somewhere we've never been before, and I see a lot more innovation coming. To say we're going to bring back jobs in Ohio and Kentucky and Pennsylvania is bogus. The reality is, if you do not have jobs in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, you're not ready for the 21st century.